So if you guys have been caught up to the Osu lore, you guys probably heard of this mysterious entity that's been rampaging the Osu scenes, the hero bride of Osu, the entity 303, the most mysterious entity of all time in Osu game. And if you guys do not know who I am talking about, I am talking about Osu420. And if you guys do not know who Osu420 is, let me just bring it all up to speed on who this character is. It's essentially this five digit Osu player that's been playing Osu, but he plays Osu in a very strange way. So a lot of people when they play Osu, they're probably gonna play for a couple hours at a time and they're just gonna like hop off and be like, yeah, that's pretty fun. But this guy, what he does is that he plays Osu for like 30 hours straight, 40 hours straight. And what he does in his play sessions is that a lot of people usually progressively play maps that are gonna get difficult and they just play a bunch of like fun maps here and there. But this guy's out here basically being the completionist. He's, he's trying to get the platinum trophy for Osu and he's playing all the maps ever, like every new release map. But the thing is that he plays it with the weirdest mod combinations as well. So like he's gonna be playing it for like one map, hidden night core, hard rock, easy, DT, flashlight, sudden night course. Like he's gonna put it on some weird mod combinations combinations one day it's going to be easy dt sudden death the next one is going to be hidden dt hard rock flashlight no mod like i don't even know but he's putting the weirdest mod combinations he's basically ai generating the mod combinations here and he's basically doing that for like pretty much every map that he plays and you guys are probably looking at his recent plays and you're like okay this guy is such a weird character because a lot of people when they're going to play mods they're going to play like maybe one mod or two mods hidden dt hard rock hidden what whatever it is some people don't even play with mods and this guy's out here playing mods on every single map and it's pretty weird right and this guy has the craziest play time as well a play time of 200 days this is like two times the amount like you would usually see in a top player's play count and it's just incredibly impressive I think, but it's also bringing a bit of worry and concern. So OSU420 has been in the spotlight for a while now on the OSU game, but it's just recently that he's been streaming on Twitch. I'm not really sure what's the motive behind it. Perhaps he wants to prove to people that he's not cheating. Cause obviously if you look at somebody that's playing in this weird light, playing 30 hours in a row, you're gonna think, okay, this guy is kind of a cheater or maybe he's a robot or a bot. But then he actually started playing, but it's a real human behind it. Cause you can see his hand cam with his fucked up grip. I don't even know how he plays with that grip i tried playing with it and it was so ass and then he's playing on his keyboard you can see his hand cam so it's a real person right there and what's really peculiar about this player is that the twitch streams that he streams on he streams for 30 hours 40 hours straight like how i said earlier in the beginning of the video and you guys are probably thinking okay 30 to 40 hours did i misread that like did you put an extra zero is he actually playing like three to four hours no 30 to 40 hours i think his longest stream was 48 hours and then what happened is that twitch had to close the stream because they couldn't allow the stream to go on for that long and this is bringing on a lot of concern for him so what he would basically do while he's playing the game is that he's going to be playing a lot of like hard maps here and there like five six stars and then he's going to play like the two to three stars and what would usually happen during the stream is that he's playing a hard map and then the next one he's playing like the two star easy map but the during the map he's been playing for so long that he can't really play anymore and you can kind of see him falling asleep like his hand his cursor on the map is just falling off and you guys are thinking okay this guy is about to go to sleep he's obviously very tired but then what happens is that he takes a break maybe a couple minutes a few hours comes back and then he's playing the old hard maps again five to six stars like just like nothing never happened and this is quite a phenomenon where people are questioning what is going on behind the scenes when he's taking a break like that because he's going to be playing osu but then takes a break like what what is he doing so a lot of people are thinking that he's taking drugs so as you can see from his name osu 420 maybe these are the two things in his life osu game and then 420, AKA weed or marijuana or drugs. And a lot of people are speculating that he's out here using weed. I mean, it kind of makes sense if you connect the dots here, right? Osu 420, and in the middle, you can also see some cloud smokes that start to appear when you're watching his gameplay, like while he's taking a break. So maybe he is using marijuana. But the thing about marijuana is that it doesn't really help you stay awake like that. Usually it's something that helps you fall asleep, like get more tired, a bit more relaxed, a bit more chilled out. So usually you would see him play more two or three stars, not exactly have a drastic rise in performance, start playing five to six stars again. So a lot of people are speculating, okay, maybe he's using other drugs, hard drugs. So if I were to imagine what type of drugs you would use to have that insane performance boost out of nowhere, like having a moment of failing two stars to playing six, star someone decently it's either 
some sort of amphetamine, if I were to guess. He's either using a shit ton of coffee or an amphetamine like crack or cocaine or Adderall and he's just taking them and just playing OC. I don't really know, that's my theory. Cause it makes sense cause those drugs are going to make you more hyper and stay awake. Your dopamine is gonna go crazy. So you're gonna be more motivated to play the game. But in that case, that's kind of sad though, right? Cause he's out here using hard drugs to play Osu and to sustain him. But perhaps some people are thinking, okay, maybe this is a bit of a show that he's putting on here. He's only using these hard drugs. If he is using hard drugs, which is quite possible because humans can't really stay awake for like a hundred hours at a time with just sheer force like that's just not normal a lot of people will be falling asleep at around the 30 hour mark no the 20 hour mark even me when i tried to stay awake one time i was only able to stay awake for like 36 hours at a time and i haven't really tried to break that pb just yet but this guy's quite impressive where he's doing that literally every single day not really sleeping a lot and perhaps a lot of people are thinking okay maybe he's just putting on a bit of a show here like just because he's streaming on twitch.tv that he wants to have a performance here He's using the drugs to play Osu and also play and stream Osu for 30 to 40 hours at a time. And a lot of people will be thinking, yeah, this is a bit of a show here. But what's concerning is that he's been doing this before even streaming in the first place. He's been already playing Osu 30 to 40 hour sessions before he started streaming on Osu on Twitch. So this is not a show. This is kind of concerning, right? And even Pepe himself was like, dude, you should probably go to sleep, man. Get some sleep. It's not right to be playing Osu like this. A lot of the other Osu staff was very concerned about his health here. Because it's not normal to be playing Osu 30, 40 hours at a time, right? So it's just extremely concerning. It's a little interesting here. And of course, there's also more support from the community themselves. Where the community would go into his Twitch chat and spam emotes saying, Hey, dude, you gotta stop playing. And they would like get real creative. Like do like sugar, no. Which is like probably cocaine. And then sleep, yes. Like people are basically telling him dude go to freaking bed you've been playing for 40 hours at this point it's just kind of crazy right this whole situation if i were to give my own thoughts about osu 420 here i for one am also kind of concerned for his well-being i don't know the guy personally but to be playing osu for 30 40 hours at a time and not really taking any significant rest is extremely detrimental to your health I don't really know what else he does in his life. I'm assuming it's just Osu and 420. Maybe he's like smoking it up and playing Osu. I don't really know. Whatever's going on for him, if you just look at those results right there, it's a bit sad because if your whole life is just playing Osu and then also doing drugs, and then a lot of people get that attention onto you because you do that, I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me. I hope he gets help because I feel like it's just something concerning right it's not normal for people to be playing osu and taking drugs all the time like this and i don't know i just wish the best for him but if this keeps up he might die that's pretty much all i want to say in this video and as you guys can see from this video i'm just walking i just ate and i want to walk i want to record a video so that's why it's like this all right but i'll see y'all